Hey, what's going on? This is Steven C. Raphael. <coughs> Check one. The old madman. <clears throat> okay, let's see. This is uh, get my credibility here for the promoting one meal a day or, or weight loss. You know, uh, I ate one meal a day. I lost 60 pounds. This is where I was. Look, I was fat, fat. Okay, I'd like to say I'm from the planet of Omedia, one meal a day. And you know when I come down here to Earth uh, once a day and for 15 minutes, I try to motivate you. Um, I am the old madman. I got my cup here to prove it. Sipping on some Arabian coffee there. Um, I'd like to tell you something that um, for the last 209 days, I've written down every single thing I eat to, to do that. Today, I've even brought a salad on the show. And uh, this is a huge salad, like a whole, look, I mean, look at the size of these leaves, you know. I was buying salad packs for a while, but you know, they make it so good that, you know, I could only eat like half of it. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, you know, today I was, you know, I always wake up and I go, okay, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. And uh, what I'd like to do is before I go straight to the wheel, I'll go straight to the wheel. Okay, let's see. Who do we stop off on now? We got Jesus Christ and we got a Jewish guy. <laughs> Jesus, what's your, what's, your, um, what's your secret for being thin? Well, I just eat uh, when I am hungry and mostly fish and stuff like that and wine. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Okay, now listen, um, I would like to talk about a few things. If you like the copy of my um, food log, you know, I ate a little bit of protein, protein, carbs, and fats. And uh, I have a little description on the bottom of this. It talks about all my coffee mugs, all that kind of stuff you can buy. But it also set, it has my emails. Uh, if you put a little, uh, any kind of donation, I'll just... Copy and paste takes me a minute or so. Then I'll go to your email. So email me something, and then um, and I'll hit you back there with my whole food log. Give you some ideas of what I ate, and it shows how many weeks. Like uh, for instance, it'll say the first week I was like 195 or 200. Um, then it went down to uh, first the first uh, you know six day or four days. I think it's all written down there. I lost like 10 pounds, and then I plateaued. And if you're if you don't think you're gonna plateau, you're gonna plateau. And um, I'd like to talk about, here's one secret about losing weight. Okay, this isn't to promote myself or nothing, because today it's all about you. I mean, I do this little, oh, I'm D is the diet for me. It's a lifestyle, oh, D. You know, I do all these funny songs, and today I was thinking, I gotta give them more content today, you know? So today's all about content, you know? I know I joke around, and I do, uh, you know, I was a fat, fat man. Um, okay, but, uh, I totally, I want to tell you that uh, what you got to do, I, what I did is I made such a decision, kader in Latin means cut, decide. I made such a decision. I was watching an OMAD guy every single day, every single situation from social situations to just everything. And, uh, you know, uh, I spent four hours a day. I just taught music, so mostly my days were free. From morning, noon, and morning and noon, basically, I watched it. So I would say I have over 120 or 30 videos on every single situation. Now it's kind of the graduating thing, you know, like I've got a degree at the OMAD University, and there's a lot of my sub. Uh, subscribers that you know, and so we kind of celebrate. But here is a big, big tip. Watch this show every single day because every single day you wake up and you're like, okay, you kind of was so one of my friends said uh, that her husband thought that every day she died and she came back to life. Every day you have to renew your decision. Your decision to lose weight. Your decision to eat one meal a day. You gotta know, you gotta decide. I went into my Prince voice. Okay, seriously, I, I got to fool around. I can't hit, but today's all about content, though. Check out this big salad. I got some, uh, I got these uh, carrots. I got a little, oh, sorry. Okay, I got the lettuce. This thing's huge. You know, it's like a whole head of lettuce. And you know what? Don't go get a whole bunch of blue cheese and a whole bunch of, then you might as well just eat a Big Mac. That would probably taste better. Can you listen? You just get a light, you know, get something that's like 30 calories per 
a tablespoon or whatever and put it in there like a few of them that's fine you could eat that whole thing it's crunchy it's good i put a little sprinkle a little cheese on there okay now listen i wanted to tell you that so i would watch every day you got to make a commitment because you know you're like you're sanding something and that you got you got every day you wake up and you're probably going oh, i don't want to do it okay now i wanted to say that last night it was my 20 for uh it was the 22nd um 15 year wedding anniversary. I went to a Chinese buffet. You want to drink? I got some of the chopsticks. Okay, now let me tell you something. First off, I looked at all the food and I'm like, God, before it was like, oh my God, look at the, look at the, the wontons and the, the crab bangoon and the stick with the meat on it and the, look at this glazed chicken. It's like candy and it's like, I would get a whole plate of, of this and, uh, and you know what? I absolutely didn't care at all. I got one plate of a bunch of gook, put it on there with my favorite stuff, crab, egg roll, crab bangoon, uh, sweet, I don't know. I ate half of it and I'm like, I'm not even hungry. And you know, it, it just, my body, before I had to every day make this uh, commitment. And uh, now the commitment has made it for me. That's kind of a parable, but I had of like, just like learning to ride a bike. I had to practice and practice work. And now the bike rides me. I mean, I don't even think about, it. do you think about when you walk? You did when it was your baby. Do you think about when you drive in a car? So. You know, it's uh, it's been over seven months and uh, food is just completely off my radar. And I know it's hard for you to think about it, but it is. Um, so I wanted to say as a piano teacher today, I was just trying to think, how can I give them more content? As a piano teacher, if I teach you this. Okay, that's basically D, da 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 A, to B minor, to F sharp. Anybody wants a piano lesson too, we can do it over Skype, for, so look me up. G, D, G, A, so, to, but why I'm showing you this, because as a piano teacher, Mozart wouldn't have been nothing without his dad. His dad quit his job and taught him all day and night, and, uh, and Beethoven's dad beat him so he'd practice. All these people got lessons every single day. I'm giving you a lesson every day. But if I taught you this on Monday. Okay, good. And then you came Tuesday for a lesson and I taught you. And then I, and then, and then uh, Tuesday, and then Wednesday I taught. And then, uh, Every day I can, you're not gonna have enough time to digest it. You need time to go back to the first lesson. Oh. Oh, yeah, D, A. So what I'm saying is all has to do with weight loss because you gotta learn these principles and then put them into practice. I'm giving you the tools, baby. <laughs> all right, is this microphone even on? <clears throat> Check, on oh, one. Okay, listen. Yeah, I just wanted to give you some con content. Yeah, give them the content. Yeah. So basically what I'm saying is I'm telling you stuff, but you have to put it into practice. When I said watch the show every day, and only I love a million subscribers, but the thing about it is I love it when, and, and please, you know, people, you're going to be hungry. Please send me messages a day so other people could read. Yeah, what hungry is like. You know what? Hunger is a joke. You're going to feel a little hungry. But, you know, don't be a baby. I was a baby twice in my life. Once when I was born, and then every time I, every time I would eat, you know, I would, I would sit there. Oh, God, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> oh, I'm not feeling good. I can't. <laughs> No, that, I mean, it's, it's, you're being a baby. Every time a baby cries, you go and feed it some milk and stuff. Knock it off. But what I'm trying to do here today is give you content. So uh, once I learned it, I became the bamboo. The bamboo, it takes, uh, it takes eight years, you know, for the seed to sprout, and then it grows four feet a day. You could literally watch it grow. I say that every day. You know how many people miss that, and they go, that was good, and I'm going, oh, my gosh, this person's been a subscriber forever. She's probably not listening to me. Okay, now uh, let's see. Please subscribe or like or whatever. Okay, um, I got a commercial for you. Lose some weight, baby. Okay, now today I want to go over 
again, as I've done it a million times, I'm trying to give you content. With OMAD, you are gonna lose your, maybe I could play with one hand. Let me see. You are gonna, I can't, okay. You're gonna save money, you're gonna save time, it's gonna help your digestion, it's gonna boost your immunity, it's gonna help your autophagy, it's not because you can either burn fat or burn uh, sugar, okay? You're gonna live longer, um, it's, uh, it's gonna help your cravings and your hunger. I have got this whole list memorized, but I wanted to kind of look at this and read it and t talk in detail. It's gonna improve your skin, uh, you're gonna have more energy, you're gonna be in a better mood, uh, you're gonna have uh, better cognition. Before OMAD, I was, uh, 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 hey, hey, I was, I was stuttering. It's to decrease um, inflammation. My blood pressure is way, way better. My, I've cured my heart disease. My diabetes doesn't even exist. I could go and eat a whole bunch of sweet and sour pork and chicken and candy, and you know what? It's not even gonna affect my numbers. But if I did it four or five times a week, it would. Okay, so, uh, but I'm not gonna do it. It's fixed my fatty liver. You know, you gotta hear this every day. You know, if you want a, a copy of these 80 things, put a little PayPal thing in five cents, I don't care, just to show that you're interested. Okay, self-discipline, self-control. You won't have to think about what restaurants. Remember when you go like, okay, what restaurant we're gonna go to? Oh, we can go here, we can go there. You're wasting a bunch of time. Get back into the things that you like in life. Okay, it's gonna help your hobbies, your clothes. You'll have a one plate rule. People say, how did you lose weight? But just don't say anything. Because if you say you've uh, doing one meal a day, you know, they're basically gonna make it negative. So be quiet. So uh, you're gonna give your organs a rest. My organs right now are in San Francisco um, in a boat around the Golden Gate Bridge having a good time. Then they're gonna go to uh, Hawaii. You're gonna save on toilet paper. If you do one meal a day, you're gonna be able to walk. I can walk, I can walk. No, before I couldn't even walk to go to the toilet. I had a bucket by the bed just after I got out of the hospital. I just hated walking. I didn't want my kids to call me. Now eating one meal a day um, after you'll, uh, you'll, you'll be able to get up. You'll, you'll want to have company around. You'll, uh, you'll have a thin stomach. You know, you won't be tempted by that gas station food. Remember that video of the pizza and stuff like that? And uh, your doctor will be impressed. If you eat one meal a day, you'll have self-control. Uh, your gut will be smaller. Um, food will taste better. Yeah, have you, can any of you imagine eating when you're hungry? Most people just eat. Okay, you'll be able to run, you'll have self-respect. Um, others will be snacking and it won't even be an option. You know, you could eat that snack at your window time. Mine's at five. If I'm gonna have a bunch of um, stuff for dinner and somebody gives me a little snack during the dinner, you know, puts it on the plate, that's fine. Okay, um, you're just gonna make you deal with your emotional, instead of going, oh, I'm hungry and eating, you're gonna have to go, okay, uh, I am hungry. And uh, you're gonna have to deal with, uh, maybe with the childhood stuff or something. You're gonna look younger. Look at me, I look way younger than I did 10 years ago. I don't know, I think I do. I still, do I feel fat? Are my cheeks big? Okay, let's see. You're gonna be more spiritual. Namaste, shalom. Okay, um, you're not gonna feel sluggish anymore. I'm trying to give you content today instead of singing a bunch of silly songs. Okay, but I do like doing that. I just wanted to really try to give you some value. Okay, um, you know, cause uh, sometimes if I don't get like a little tip or anything like that, I think, ah, oh, people are getting sick of me, you know, whatever. Okay, um, you'll have total control at buffets, and let me tell you something, baby. Last night I went to a Chinese buffet, and I wasn't even excited I went there. I only went there for the sentimental reason because it was my 15th year wedding anniversary, and that's where we used to go all the time. I go, you wanna go to a buffet? My wife goes, are you hungry? I go, no, but I feel like eating. That's not gonna happen anymore. Okay, you're gonna have a better sex life? Ho, ho, ho. Okay, let's see. You'll have tons of self-confidence. You will be in an elite club. Uh, hi, uh, uh, Carolyn, by the way. Uh, she gave me that one. Uh, <coughs> you'll be using the bathroom way less. I don't even remember the last time I went pushulatory. Okay, uh, you'll notice other people's weight is out of control. That's one of the drawbacks because you're going to want to help them. But, you know, um, you'll notice that you'll sleep much better. Your clothes will fit better. You know, can somebody please, I want to do another, I want to get up to 90 reasons. Somebody please as many reasons as you can today. Please send me some reasons that weren't on that thing. Yeah, well let me tell you. Goodbye everybody, 
I hope you learned something from the old man man. Oh, I am a man, I am a man, apparently I am a man. Well, you know what? I got a subscriber that now that he's he's becoming a regular. His, his name is Big Boy. Yep, you see Big Boy under there. Yeah, he kind of put me down yesterday, and I was kind of sad because I usually don't get put down. But I got, here's his theme song. If you, His handle is Big Boy. Well, he's a big, big boy. He's a big, big boy. He's a big, 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 big boy. I don't have much to say about him. Big, big boy. He's a big, 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 big. The man is very large, okay? I'm not saying he's fat, he's big boned. <laughs> okay, today was more of like a lesson. Like I said, going back, if I was to teach you this. Canon and D by Johan Pacabell. Um, basically, you have to practice it. All these things I would write down or, or I'll send you the list. Um, I'd like to stop uh, at the wheel today. Let's see, okay, we got Miss Fu. Oh, it's the old man man, old man man. Yes, I am the old man man. Stephen, thank you for giving us value today instead of singing just your silly little song. Welcome to the deli, we've got. Thank you, Axel Rose, and thank you, everybody. So, but I, I just like to say, uh, um, Mad man, catch me every day if you can. Okay, went up to 16 minutes. Show went up to 15, now it's 16. I want to say thank you. Uh, please send me messages and everything. And I, I check every single one. I like you.